Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of uh, the day of Satil, the archangel. God is our prayer. No, not Thor. He's a false god. Quick acknowledging false gods and God's days. I can't stand the like the idea of a holiday. One thing I don't like about holidays, it throws me off of what today is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it does the same thing with you that you know you think it's another day, but it's this day. You know. But uh, the topic of this message, oh, oh boy, uh, when it's Christmas, I guess, it's supposed to approach to a new year, supposed to. Well, I spoke about uh, Christmas and the ideal that, of course, Jesus Christ was not born on Christmas Day, but a lot of evil people were born on that day. Um, now, uh, now I'm going to talk about this God named Janus that, you know, I don't know if Christians know about Janus, uh, as what they named the month January at out. They name it, uh, after Janus, a God. Yes. You know, you know, that God that you know, God put in the first commandment, serve no other God before him. First commandment. Um, yeah, Genesis is this God that claims that he is about, he is the beginning. Yes, he's the God of the beginning. And He's the God of that can see the uh, future and see the past at the same time. He has two faces as he has two faces. You know, I hear that people that, you know, they call negative people uh, two faced people. That's all I'm saying. But uh, that's another message. But uh, Genesis, he claims that he is the beginning. So. And this world, you know, that I keep telling you, or pretty much the United States of America and unfortunately everybody in the world does worship false gods and goddesses. I mean, if you go to the White House, I mean, you see the District of Columbia. Columbia is a goddess. And you walk around it and you see those statues. Those are gods. Uh, and those statues are in the roofs, the roof edging. Those are god, gods and goddesses. And I mean, that's what this country is all about. Well, really, they say that they all about God, but they're, but of course, uh, Romans 3, 4, God be truth and every man a liar. Um, they're not really all about God, but never, to, never really been about God. But, I, but I want to talk to people in your church, you know, I want to talk to the Christians, you know, well, and I will hope that this may become a conversation with, uh, Christians that are, that understands the first commandment of serve no other God before me. Um, Genesis is clearly that you know is is a is is a god he claims to be a god and well the topic of this message i want to call this is god versus janice yes god versus janice who is the god of the beginning yes who who is the god of the beginning is it janice or is it god i do videos a lot at this time about you know, God versus Janice. Well, well, church, I mean, the world can think that Janice is the beginning and celebrate this false new year uh, concerning what they think is a new year that's near the begin, near the, uh, near the time of winter, you know, of the earth. The beginning can be in a place of winter um, well, I guess people, most, you know, Christians don't know how the 
earth system works, you know, uh, that God has created, you know, but that's another message. But um, the thing is, they claim that Genesis is the ideal of the beginning of the year or the beginning of months is the ideal. So I'm just going to present this to those that have ears to hear and eyes to see as well. I've been tell well, I have many videos talking about that uh, Exodus 12 is supposed to show us that not only Jesus Christ was born on the first of Nisan, that yeah, near the equinox, spring equinox, the first of Nisan uh, is near the spring equinox, but uh, he uh, that this supposed to be declared by God as the beginning of the months, as the first of Nisan, and that and that is somewhere in March, uh, either twentieth or the eighteenth. Somewhere 19th, I don't know, somewhere in March of the first of Nisan is supposed to be the ideal of the of the beginning concerning those that follow God uh, of Israel. If you follow God of Israel, your beginning is supposed to be on uh, the first of Nisan. Supposed to. But do we follow the God Genesis and are we going to declare Genesis is the God of the beginning concerning the uh, December 31st? Uh, unfortunately, a, a lot of Christians uh, churches have made their plans or their New Year's Eve party. Uh, and they don't realize that, you know, you are, when you are celebrating the idea as, you know, Christmas, you are celebrating Genesis as the beginning of the year. You know, when you have New Year's Eve parties, you are celebrating Genesis as the beginning of the year. That's what you're doing. But those that post to follow the God of Israel is supposed to uh, celebrate the new year on the first of Nisan in the Jewish calendar, not the wrong men calendar that's all about worshiping false gods and goddesses, including Genesis, but worshiping the one true God. Now it says in Exodus 12, it says, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, this month shall be unto the beginning of months. It, it shall be the first month of the year to you, to you, not to a pagan people of outside of the covenant of God. That is not uh, one with the one that uh, the uh, God that created the heavens and the earth. You know what I'm saying? They're not they're not in covenant with the God that created the heavens and the earth. You are in covenant. You're you're with the one of uh, Moses and Aaron and the children of Israel. You're with the one that created the heavens and the earth. You're not with this false God, Genesis. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, that this world system declares as the beginning, you're with the God of Israel. And he did already established a beginning. And in that beginning, that established the pattern of Jesus Christ concerning the Lamb of God that, uh, that, that we are supposed to understand by order that God has to operate according to his order concerning how he established things that I try to tell people that Jesus had to be born in order with the lamb, has to be born with the lamb, lamb to lamb. It's just that simple. And of course, number 12 means order. That's what we have 12 uh, tribes of Israel and 12 disciples. God is a God of order. And if we're not, if we're truly about following God in his order, we will uh, do so. Now, as I, you know, the word of God put the stipulations out there 
many are called, few are chosen. Uh, 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 oh, Matthew 20 to 16, many are called, few are chosen. Broad is the gate, uh, Matthew uh, 7 and 13, I believe 14. The broad is the gate, many shall go to, uh, that leads to destruction. Many shall participate in the things of this world, including false gods and goddesses. But straight and narrow is the gate that uh, people, uh, that that few will follow, that leads to life. Few will follow this oh, direction. Boy. I, 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 I had I, 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 I had it I, that y'all is contagious, is it? Mm -hmm. That few that leads to lunch. And the thing is, oh are you God. if he's first? Because it's crazy that I did this video oh, yesterday oh. that's talking about that. Uh we'll we'll get those yes, we'll get those later. Oh no, I'll the only them here right yeah. now. Uh we just, just uh, one second. Uh we will all go out. Uh, I, the, uh, we I, will. I, um, I, I, am I first? Uh, we will. Am um, I first? Be following. Sorry, in, in my, my friend Robbie's here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we I mean, will we uh, in, follow in, the in that, in follow that, the God order. of Israel. You know what I'm saying? We will follow the God of Israel, and we will do what the God of Israel says. And if we truly follow him, we will follow him regardless of how many people are not following him. You know what I'm saying? This is not about, you know, everybody. This is about the faithful few that really has been established in the scriptures that God and Jesus is looking for people, his people that I did a live uh, message about is about are you his people, not that you claim that he's your God, <coughs> but are you his people is what you need to understand because this they, this world system says that we're going to, to acknowledge Genesis as the God of the beginning. And we're going to get all y'all to celebrate with us as he is the God of the beginning. Now, is he your God of the beginning or the God of Israel? that has established a beginning concerning months in his word in Exodus 12, that this is the beginning of months. It's up to you that if you follow uh, the God of Israel or you follow this world system that follow gods and goddesses, you know what I'm saying? That it should be plain and simple that it's clear that Genesis is a, false God that claims to be the beginning. Well, he's not my God, and I will not acknowledge him as my the God of the beginning. I will wait to the first of Nisan and say that this is the beginning of the year. But people following and caught up in this world since conformed to this world system and not being transformed out of it are going to acknowledge Genesis as the God of the beginning concerning celebrating the ideal of New Year's. That I want to make aware to those that have eyes to see and ears to hear that you need to really question if God is your God or is this world system got you following these gods and goddesses. And you need to question. All right, that's the message. Hope you understand it. So God be the glory of him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.